Welcome to Daily Art Day number 2885. I'm still working on Severus Snape. I didn't put a lot of work into Severus Snape today. Boy, I've had a lot of issues with technology. It seems like everything's going wrong. Photoshop is on the fritz right after I updated it. But the good thing about it is I've realized that I have just way too much reliance on Photoshop. So I think I'm going to try hard to move away from it incremental steps, not right away. Just gonna move away from it a little bit at a time and get back to just the simplicity of drawing from photos, you know? Um, it's what I have right now. I mean, I, I can't get Alec Rick, Alan Rickman in here or Severus Snape, obviously, but anyway. So I'm taking it in stride and that's kind of part of what I wanna to talk to you about today. It's about self-compassion, especially when we screw up on anything. Now, if you think about newborns or babies that are just learning to walk, they're gonna go a little bit and then fall down. And if every child at that point in their life got angry at themselves and beat themselves up for falling down and said, oh, you're so stupid, not many of us would probably learn to walk, at least not at a very early age. It would take us forever to do it. It doesn't make sense. I mean, babies just do this thing. You know, they treat it as a game. They have fun with it. This is just what happens, right? So how can we have a little bit more self-compassion when we screw up in our art practice or anything? And the, the way we can do that is stop with all the negative self-talk. <laughs> Isn't that right, Sully? My cat agrees, definitely. Stop with all the negative self-talk. We're going to screw up. Understand that. This is part of life, right? We're not going to have the best drawing days. We're going to have the worst drawings. But I tell you what, anything we do that's bad or a screw up or wrong, we can learn from it. So we either win or we learn. Always take like a kind of game mindset to this. You know, what game are you playing? And the one thing I figured out, anytime I screw up something on a drawing, I usually can use my screw up for another drawing and it works wonderfully. It's always a plus for me, screw up or no. So we can see this, the negative self-talk as a competition with ourselves, right? If we're talking negative to, to ourselves, we're in competition with ourselves. Now, if we're in competition with anyone else or the rest of the world, we're basically outnumbered if we're in competition with ourselves also. So let's try and be compassionate with ourselves. Yeah be a teammate right yeah be a teammate and enjoy your mess up see them as possible ways to learn or wins you know i know <laughs> he's upset because i closed the door so i could be in a quiet environment didn't work too well but you know i'm learning so anyway i could go on forever about this thanks for watching and until next time i hope you keep creating and Sullivan Sullivan. He wants you to keep creating too. Yeah. Say bye-bye.